Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this Bath and Body Works slash White Barn Sugared Lemon Zest Candle Review. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back guys. Um, I hope you guys are starting to thaw out for those of you that live in the cooler states um, or maybe some of you guys across the pond. We had a deep freeze like a polar vortex I think is what it was called out here in Michigan so um I'm filming this on Saturday we are finally starting to thaw out with a nice balmy 30 degrees which is wonderful I think we're gonna hit 40 tomorrow maybe they said um so anyways that being said I know we are all just looking forward to spring so I'm gonna dive in and do a couple spring reviews uh in the coming week here so I wanted to kick it off with sugared lemon zest I know I did a couple other out of frame videos and you guys, I just haven't had the opportunity to do an in-frame video, so um, my next few videos will probably be out of frame, um, but I will be taking, I'm actually taking a uh, staycation, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to do some fun videos. There's a video tag I've been looking at doing, but for right now, they're going to be out of frames just because I want to get the reviews up and out to you guys. So uh, without further ado, let's dive into the review of Sugared Lemon Zest. So you guys, I have burned Sugared Lemon Zest in the past. I believe it originally launched or came out as Sugared Lemon Zest, I want to say maybe two and a half years ago, maybe, yeah, maybe two and a half years ago, two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I was actually working at Bath & Body Works at the time when Sugared Lemon Zest came out, or at least it was new to me. I don't know if it was a repackage then, but um, I believe it was new. I may have a review up of the original version, and I absolutely fell in love. It is one of the fragrances that really made me even fall in love with like Lemoncello, um, Citrus Scents. There's just something about it. It was just so bright and zesty and sugary it's it's beautiful um not quite like a lemonade type scent it really just is a sugary beautiful zesty lemon scent so i've been in love with it ever since i saw it come out obviously in the single wicks i think earlier this year or at the tail end of um at christmas time i think they may have come out with a couple single wicks and lemon zest and um i always wonder if they're going to bring it back in a three wick and it looks like this year they did Packaging is super cute. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's kind of like a cream with a um, splattered kind of gold and kind of shimmery pastel type packaging. There's a few other candles in this collection, of course. And uh, of course, I had to snag sugared lemon zest because I'll be burning this later in the spring slash early summer. So beautiful packaging. Their packaging this season is just gorgeous. I'm loving all of the packages. Um, I'm noticing they're getting away from the quotable type labels. I don't know if they even have a quotable label collection out right now. And I kind of appreciate that they're going back to kind of like their standard collections where each collection has, you know, five or six different candles. They all have a common theme. Very, very cute. So cute packaging. Overall burn thus far, you guys, this is only my second burn. I did have it going for about two and a half, three hours last night just to kind of test it out. So far, no issues. I will say I did, you can see a little wick residue. I did have to trim the wicks. They did mushroom top. They are kind of the standard wicks. Um, they aren't like the super, super fat rope-like wicks. They're just like the traditional, regular, um, waxy type wicks. No metal or anything in them. These ones seem to burn the best, at least in my opinion. So anyways, performance so far so good um throw one to ten ten of course being super crazy strong i did have it going in the open concept um i would say in an open concept you're going to be getting it like a seven maybe seven and a half so it threw quite nicely it's not the strongest scent ever but lemon is just such a strong kind of in your face type fragrance um you'll most certainly smell it i think it's beautiful um and oddly enough you guys this video was going to be a comparison between Sugared Lemon Zest and Lemoncello because to me over the years, um, I would always kind of interchange them. I would get some Sugared Lemon Zest candles and then I would get some Lemoncello candles and kind of mix them in and out throughout the summer with different varying um, citrus scents. So I was going to make a Sugared Lemon Zest versus Lemoncello. 
until I read the notes on the bottom. So you guys, I am torn. I don't know if I just never noticed this over the years, if the notes were written down differently on um, sugared lemon zest versions in the past, I'll have to pull up my old video to see. But you guys, the notes for sugared lemon zest are as follows. It was lemon zest, Sorrento lemons, and cane sugar. So that's those are the notes on the bottom of this year's packaging. So I wanted to pull up Lemoncello's notes just for comparison purposes because I swear they smell different. To me, Lemoncello smells a little creamier, um, a little less sweet. Lemoncello's a little more smooth. They're both strong and zesty, but sugared lemon zest has always smelled a little different to me. Well, I pulled up online right now because I don't have an unburned Lemoncello or a spare Lemoncello candle in front of me. The notes per Bath & Body Works website for Lemoncello are Sorrento Lemons, Cane Sugar, and Lemon Zest. So you guys, you know what? I might have to buy a Lemoncello candle and burn it side by side um, because I, the notes are the same. But to me, they've always smelled a little bit different. So for those of you out there who have burned sugared lemon zest, comment down below because I am torn right now. I just don't have a Lemoncello in front of me to compare it, but I swear they're different. They've always smelled a little bit different to me. Maybe they tweak them a little bit. Um, they're both beautiful scents, but I've always loved sugared lemon zest. To me, it's always been a little bit stronger. I have always had a lot more success burning it. In years past, I would shy away from Lemoncello because for whatever reason, that old school packaging with like the wraparound, almost kind of like, um, I guess, lemon orchard or, you know, it was a wraparound with like trees and, and I think it had like lemon trees on it and stuff. That version never burned for me until they um, revised it in white barn jars or white barn packaging, then it would burn for me. So I would always just gravitate towards sugared lemon zest. So um, you know, I don't know. Comment down below. I'm torn. Are they the same? I still don't think so. They're listing the same notes online as this year's version of sugared lemon zest. So throw, throw out your opinions. I'm curious to see what your guys' thoughts are. But overall, would I purchase this candle again? Yes, absolutely. I do every year. It's beautiful. It has a great throw. And so far, the performance hasn't given me any issues. Um, and uh, yeah, beautiful scent. If you're a citrus fan, absolutely give this a try. If you like Lemoncello, I, I don't see why you wouldn't like sugared lemon zest. They are almost identical, but this one's going to be a little bit, in my opinion, a little more zestier and a little more sweeter. So you guys, that is it for me today. Um, if you are on Instagram, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, as always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.